everybody. Today we're going to discuss the bones of the skull. There are a total of 22 cranial and facial bones in the skull. Some textbooks include the ossicles of the ear in the total count uh, for a total of 28 bones in the skull. The entire skull can be divided into two parts, neurocranium and visceracranium. Uh, let's list the bones of neurocranium. There are two pair bones, parietal bone, You can see it better over here. And temporal bone. There are two bones of, on each side, so they're paired bones. And there are four unpaired bones. Frontal, over here. Ethmoid bone that we would not be able to see from any of these views. It's an internal bone. It would be located somewhere over here inside of the nasal cavity. Sphenoid bone would be better seen on the lateral side over here. And the occipital bone over here. Now let's list bones of viscera cranium. There are two maxillary bones, one over here and one over here. They fuse together and form upper jaw. Two nasal bones over here. Two zygomatic bones over here. Two palatine bones that you can't see here. They would be located over here and forming the roof of the mouth. Two lacrimal bones that would be located inside of the eye socket over here. As well, there would be two bones, inferior conhe that would be located over here, and they are lone standing bones of the nasal cavity. Vomer would be located over here. It would form the septum of the nose. The last big bone is mandible. It would be located over here. Some people also include hyoid bone, but it would be located lower over here and it wouldn't really be connected to the cranium. It's important to note that all of the bones of viscera cranium, except the mandibular condyle, formed by intramembranose grows. This is all I wanted to discuss today. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.